Hey guys and gals, Barnell here with another video on beginners tips and tricks for Anno. So today we will be talking about mail and how it actually works. And we'll also be discussing airships too. Okay, so what is airmail? Well, airmail is just another lifestyle need that will actually give you more citizens and a ton of money. Uh, this is great uh, for early on making a lot of money as soon as you have the airmail stuff unlocked this is an excellent thing to get into so the airmail you can see uh for local mail it says uh investors it will give me 48 investors it will give me 190 coins per, per investor regional mail uh it says you know investors plus 60 coins plus 533 and then for overseas mail investors plus 125 coins plus 953 and we can see that we are making a lot of money right now. Tons of money. And that's mostly off of our mail. Okay, so air mail is something that you need DLC for. It's the Empire of the Skies DLC in Season 4. Uh, you can see that you get rigid airships. You get modular airship platforms. You get a postal system, ornaments, and you get a scenario for it as well. The Empire of the Skies DLC kind of gets rid of the Arctic. So, you know, I used to rush the Arctic all the time because I wanted to have airships faster than the AI would. Uh, in this case, you don't even need to go to the Arctic anymore because you can make airships much easier in the new world. Now, this postal system is what we're going to be focusing on here in the beginning, uh, and then we will have some discussion over the airships themselves. So right now, I have finally figured out how to use the postal system. All right, I was streaming this game, and the people who were in my chat were around me for about an hour listening to me complain that I did not understand the mail system. But I finally understand it, and I'm going to break this down for you guys. So that way you guys understand it as well, and hopefully it makes sense. Okay, so when we're talking about air mail, we have to, first of all, get our mindset right. Our mindset needs to understand that there are producing islands... And there are consuming islands. Okay, so this is going to bring us back to the statistics page with control and Q. Catwick is our main island, right? This is the island that we want tons of mail to come to because this is a consuming island, right? So this island consumes everything. Great. So let's take a look. So down here, it says that Catwick is consuming 77 local mail. It's consuming 22 regional mail. And it's consuming 19 overseas mail. It's also producing 141 local mail. So 141 local mail. That means that a little over half of it is being used right now. Okay, so 64 surplus is what we will have. But we need to be able to bring in mail to fulfill the needs of our citizens. So notice we need to bring in 22 regional mail and we need to bring in 19 international mail. Okay, so how do we bring in regional mail? Well, let's take a look at my Catwick airmail. So Catwick airmail, we can see that I have a couple here. Let's take a look at this route. So we're taking mail from Freikberg back to Catwick. Notice we are not loading any mail out of Catwick. We're just going to Freikberg because it's a producing island, and we are shipping it to Catwick. So we're loading the mail in Freikberg, and we are unloading the mail in Catwick. When I first did this, I screwed up majorly. And the reason for that is because I kept taking mail from Catwick and dropping it off at Freikberg, and picking up mail at Freikberg, and dropping it off at Catwick. Unfortunately, when you take mail from your main island, you're actually depleting the amount of mail that you can trade to other islands. So I was running into a lot of mail issues. Now, let's take a look at Freikberg. So in order to get mail, you have to have an airship platform. You have to have an airmail sorting office. You also have to have post offices. So post offices, you can also have those smaller postal boxes, and all of those will create local mail. Okay, 
So post offices make local mail. It doesn't matter what island you're on, you are only producing local mail with post offices. And we're only producing local mail everywhere. Okay, so local mail is the mail that you're trading. You can't trade regional mail. You can't trade international mail. So hopefully you guys are tracking me so far. We are making a lot of local mail here. So in order for us to get regional mail, we'd have to take local mail from somewhere, right? So from Freikberg is where we're taking some local mail from. We can see that Freikberg is producing approximately eight local mail, but they're using five. So they're only producing a surplus of three local mail. So Freikberg's producing three. We are shipping mail from Freikberg to Catonwick. And upon being delivered to Catonwick, you can see this one's from another local area. It will turn into regional mail. Okay, so it turns into regional mail. You cannot trade regional mail, okay? You just have to pull it from local islands in the region. One thing that I did not realize, however, is that Cape Trelawney is technically in the same region as the Old World. So if you are trading between these two regions, it's not international mail, it is regional mail. So great, so we have our main city here, and we now have lots of post offices and lots of airships that are taking mail from islands and dropping it off at Catonwick. So what we're doing is we're simply shipping in mail that is produced on our producing islands to our consuming island. Great, the same thing goes for international mail. So international mail, you probably want to find your big cities in the new world. So I have a big city here, and I have a big city here. These big cities then will ship mail to your main islands, and the main islands will ship mail back to these big cities. So both islands will take care of the international mail. So we'll see international mail is actually really good here because we're shipping mail from Manola to Catnwick. And we're shipping mail from Catonwick to Manola. So we're taking local mail from Catonwick to Manola. Because it's overseas, it becomes international mail or overseas mail. And same thing applies on the way back. So that's really the only trade route that we have where we're actually picking up mail and dropping it off. So we can see here that these ships are taking international mail and dropping it off. And a lot of them are actually getting kind of full right now. What we did in the old world, we have to do in the new world. So this island here, I'm going to use it as an example. We need regional mail. We can see right now that we are consuming six regional mail. We have one regional mail route right now going to Manola. And it's from Bog. We can see that Bog Otampa is making only two mail that it can ship, right? It's making four. It's consuming two. So we can ship only two mail right now. So we built another settlement here in the New World. You can see that this island here is producing three mail. It's consuming two. It can produce a total of seven mail once we get the needs of our citizens under control, which they will need ponchos here, so we'll knock that out uh, in the near future. But let's go ahead and let's set up a trade route. So I typically use these smaller ships, the Calibri. So we want to create a route, an airship route. We want to use our Calibri. We want to go from this island to this island. We want to load local mail, and we want to unload the local mail. We do not want to pick up local mail from Manola because we want to save it there for its trade with the old world. So we'll assign this a group here, Manola Regional Air Mail. We'll accept that. And now we are taking regional mail to Manola. So remember, on this ship, even though it's regional mail, technically, it will still read local mail because that's the only thing you can trade, remember. It's only regional once it's delivered. So we'll watch this guy deliver his mail, and you'll see it'll be plus one regional mail. There you go. This guy will come in with 11, and you'll see plus 11 regional mail again. So you can see regional mail is now being taken care of. So these guys should start making even more money because they have regional mail okay let's discuss airships now okay, so airships they are produced in the empire of the skies dlc which as i stated earlier it kind of gets rid of the arctic you know you don't even have to go there other than to stop the ai from going there 
the airship in the Arctic is bad. Compared to the airships that you get from the New World, this airship is not good. Loading speed at 50%. Its open sea travel speed is only 100%. Its min sail speed is 9.4. Max sail speed is 32.8. Really, the only thing it has is some max sail speed. It is not a very good ship. So I only made one or two of these, uh, and I realized that it was not a good choice. So let's talk about airships then in the new world. So notice loading speeds 20% of these, 40%, 20%, 40%, 120%, 50% 50 for this ship, 90% for the Quetz. And again, you have the same 50% on this ship. What sets these ships apart is that they're open sea travel, 170%, 130%, 100%. This is only 80%, this is 90%, this is 80%, this is 90%. Okay, fast though. Very fast ship. Max sail speed's 51. Min sail speed's 27 of these. I mean, that is that is fast. So, I don't use this ship at all. But I do use the Quetz, and I do use the Calibri. These other ships, the Atatolan's pretty good. This one's really not good for anything. I see it actually holding things up and bogging down my trades. But in the beginning, having the Quetz and having the Calibri, those are excellent ships. And the Atatolan as well, excellent ships uh, to send your cargo. Now, there is a problem with the airships. The airships will tend to go to these airship platforms rather than going to your main trading post. So what I've actually had to do is I've had to kind of cheat a little bit by putting peers... All around my island. You can see all these piers way out here. Really far away. So that way these ships will go to the piers. Instead of coming up here to the airship platform and dropping it off. Because dropping stuff up, up at the airship platform is really, really slow. So I've had to push all the airships out by building all these piers closer to their routes. And that kind of forces them to go to the piers instead. Now, what I was having happen here in the old world and what will still happen from time to time is that we will get ships coming to this airship platform instead of going to my awesome docklands that have a huge increase in the loading speed so look at this 650 percent loading speed bonus down here whereas up here there is no bonus the only bonus i get is from my airship logistician who gives us 75 percent so I have actually gone and changed all of my trade routes or the majority of my trade routes that were causing me problems from airships to cargo ships. So you'll see that I actually have more cargo ships. These, uh, these world-class reefers are the ones that I use. I have more of them than I do airships. And I am using them the most to trade. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. And thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Take care.